good morning guys and thanks for joining me this sunday morning so um doing okupe has shown his true nature he has come all out for peter obi and ibus this time around he you know have shown his true color we are waiting for him to unravel and he has done that he has joined apc fully in going tribalistic this is something we all condemned during the election period and even after it the ethnic profiling and all of it yesterday he came all out for Ibus, saying how he supported peter obi because peter obi was an Igbo man forgetting that same peter obi always preached don't vote for me because i'm Ibu. don't vote for me because i'm the southeast vote for me because i can do the job i'm the best in the race and have competence uh, character and capacity but he said he was supporting Peter because it was Ibus that is sad to see that 80% of uh, the people that are coming after him are from one ethnic group. He had so much to say and even went so low to retweeting a hate post against Ibus where somebody called Ibus children from baby factories. He reposted it. And you know, Nigerians, well meaning Nigerians, not just Ibus now. Mostly even Yorubas have come out to attack him. They said, oh, so this is who you were all this while. Oh, you have joined APC in ethnic profiling. Is that what, can't you make your point without scapegoating Ibus? That is what many people are asking. I'm going to be showing you all of it. But in light of it, I remembered what Dele Faro to me said at some point. And let me show you so that you see because truly 2023 revealed a whole lot this election that just passed revealed a whole lot listen to what uh, daily forgot to me said and when we come back we'll continue is there anything that you can say you like about this anything oh i am very very happy i thank god for tinubu without tinubu i wouldn't have known that we can have fake bishops without tinubu i wouldn't have known that some men that i thought were honorable men are not honorable Without Tinubu, I wouldn't have lost more than half the people I grew up with and thought were my friends. Who have now discovered that largely ethnic and ethno-religious jingoists. And they are not just Yorubas, some Igbos are among them and some, Yorub and some Ausas as well. I'm talking about friends across the length and breadth of Nigeria. Tinubu has been very good at unveiling the true nature of people. So all the horrible people who have been busy protesting to be men of God, one can see them clearer. That's because of Tinubu. If Tinubu were to be a man whose evil was ambiguous, if it was, if it was possible to say maybe he's not bad, it would have been very easy for them to continue pontificating and sounding like men of God. But the fact that the man is so unrepentantly and clearly evil, and they have found accommodation for him, and they are the ones excusing the evil, explaining the evil, looking to normalize the evil. They don't even mind taking off their own garments of honor to cloak a filthy felon. Tinubu can only be thanked though. I thank God for Tinubu. Without Tinubu, I wouldn't know the things I know today. Some people I thought were men. In fact, some people I thought were gods. They've been revealed to be men. Just men. Just men. So Tinubu has been a very good thing for this country. Excellent thing. How would we have known how useless our judiciary is if it wasn't for Tinubu? Tinubu has been a fantastic blessing to Nigeria. So now we know that some men who used to pontificate about honesty, honesty does not matter to them. Men who used to talk about citizenship, freedom, electoral rights, it doesn't matter to them. Now we know. If it wasn't for Tinubu, how would I know? Some men would have gone to their graves with honor if it wasn't for Tinubu. Do you know how many people Tinubu has turned naked? No, I am thankful for Tinubu. Right, welcome back, guys. I guess you heard him. Now, if not that Tinubu really contested, we couldn't have known all these things. People who we are giving respect to, thinking, ah, they are nationalists. Imagine this man calling himself a nationalist, doing Okupe. What kind of nationalist are you? So, had it been. Tinubu didn't contest and all these things are happening. We won't know. We will still be giving honor to men that honor is supposed to be very far from. I'm happy that he has unraveled himself completely 
and everybody have seen him for who he is. So let me show you how you know Nigerians are, have been lambasting him since last night. And when we come back, we will wrap up. Please watch. All right, guys. So this was what Doyin Okupe said. Is it a coincidence that nearly 80% of those who insult, abuse, disparage, and are intolerant of my views on this platform are from one ethnic nationality? Wow. I've been a nationalist all my life. And politics freely, I went out of my way on principle of support to support the Southeast quest for presidency. He continued by saying, I supported Obi based, on, based only on the principle that a southerner must succeed Buhari. Sadly, we lost the election. God, in his wisdom, gave victory to another southerner, a Yoruba, and a long-standing associate. If I did not help him to win, should I join others to pull him down unjustifiably? Now, this is the part that really got people angry and talking. Now, under his comments, a certain Joseph Temitope said, You should know the behavior of children who are born from baby factory. Now referring to Igbos as children who are born from baby factory. And Doin Okupe, as you can see, reposted it. Doin reposted this tweet. And that is what have been causing serious problem online. Now let's go straight to what Nigerians have been saying. Now Engineer Shaibu said, Peter Obi didn't lose the election, Mr. Doin. You have completely gone bonkers. For how much? Now that is a very good reminder for him to know that we didn't lose that election. Ayo Deji said, supporting Peter Obi was you doing Nigeria a favor and not you doing any tribe a favor. This should be common sense to anyone who cares about Nigeria and her citizens. But then someone who sucked the breast of bigotry would think otherwise. Twe. Daniel Emeka said, Southeast quest for presidency? A question. Since 1999, Peter Obi is the first name of Igbo extraction that Igbos have supported for the presidency of Nigeria. Heck, we didn't even support Ojuku. It's sad that in your short, dubious, and disgraceful time with Obi, you still fail to learn a thing or two about Igbos. But I will help you with one. Igbo Enweze. This means we are egalitarian and believe every human being, rich or poor, Yoruba, Hausa, Efik, Kalibari, whosoever you are, deserves equal rights and opportunities as anyone. We don't need an evil presidency, we just need a good president. First doctor said, if someone told me that doing Okupe will try scapegoating a whole tribe, playing the Southeast card, I will never believe it. I still don't know why it's always easy for these guys to target Ibus. What have this tribe done to these guys? A group of people that mind their business and just want to make money to take care of their families. But every freaking time, it's Igbo this, Igbo that. I'm really not happy. Peter Obi should just leave this thing and go and rest. Tinubu should do whatever he likes with the country. Let the Igbos rest. Ayemo Juba said, Doin Okupe also has resorted to tribal attacks against the Igbos. This Emilokan virus is beyond deadly. Distinguished Everest said, Peter Obi, do not support me because I am Igbo. Support any candidate because of competence, capacity, and character. Doin Okupe, I supported Peter Obi because of his tribe. Dukun, Peter Obi for my hand. I'm 2023, he talked about fairness. You people are just too funny. Continue. Bibi said, Doin Okupe reposted a tribal law that describes Igbos as children born from baby factory. You wouldn't find elders from other ethnic groups in Nigeria profiling or using disparaging comments at a certain tribe. Their kingsman and preferred candidate is in power. What is really eating them up? Igbos must stay stubborn and nurture the grudge. Obiaso Good David say, Here we go. Doin Okupe is fully inducted into the court of the APC. Their usual first assignment is test the waters with tribal hate speech. Uptown of Lagos said, God, Doin Okupe ethnic baiting also? Nah, I give up. Wait, it is like impossible to begin supporting APC without resorting to ethnic baiting. What is this? At this point, I don't mind joining Atiku to push out this divisive dirty court group and return PDP. Disgusting. Ballistic said, by the way, how did Doin Okupe arrive at this conclusion? Forget about whether he's right or wrong. Just think about how he arrived at the conclusion. By looking at the names of those criticizing him, Abi, how else? She on as they see the point we have been trying to make. Felix Emeka said someone should just tell Baba Doin Okupe that Igbo people are not his problem. In fact, if it's the whole obedience which comprises of North, South, 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 West, South, East that demanded for his resignation after his conviction, if the obedience movement did not call for Doin Okupe to resign or be dropped as the DG of Peter Obi campaign during the 2020 election, when he was convicted of money laundering charge, 
I'm very sure that Baba won't join by an onuga in ethnic bigotry. These old politicians obviously don't mean well for this nation. Godson said, Doi Nokupe woke up today and decided to join the bandwagon of de denigrating the Iburis. Make no mistake about it, this tribalism and bigotry you see coming from the children of perdition, they learn it from whom? Even some of their elders are not left out. In the boo, do not let anyone gaslight you on this app. It's time to grow a thick skin. Aisha Isufu said, Ojuku ran for president and he didn't have the full support of Southeast region. Even at the beginning of Peter Obi's campaign, many swore that the Southeast region will not even support him. He was pegged to win only Anambra, if any. Now the people of Southeast are being vilified and called tribalistic because they supported Peter Obi. When they supported Obasanjo, they weren't tribalistic. When they supported Yaradua, they weren't tribalistic. When they supported Jonathan, they weren't tribalistic. When they supported Atiku, they weren't tribalistic. It is when they supported the most competent, who happened to be from their region, they became tribalistic. Anyways, I like this form of tribalism. Let's have more. Toluani said Peter Obi had a lot of people around who just wanted to use him to get close to government money. So sad. Sir Dixon replied to Cooper said, You really think the Peter Obi presidency is about Igbo presidency? You don't that head. How many Igbo men have you seen the Igbo support for presidency? You just a political panhandler. Stop deceiving yourself about being a nationalist. You are claiming the Igbos are attacking you so you can get support from your tribesmen. But every sensible person can see through you. Finish the destruction you guys in power are doing so you can go and rest. You have made zero impact and gave zero relevance. First leadership said, Doin Okupe reposted this and it's everything about your typical Nigerian elder. Those that enjoyed the best that was Nigeria and left nothing for us. Once they lose the plot, they resort to tribalism. But young Nigerians must resist them. We mustn't end up like our parents. Omotaya Williams said, Many our hungry stomach, may our hungry stomach not override our ability to think properly. Okupe is a disgrace. Comedian Acapella said, Ta, this format don't cast. Same old, same old. Switch it to ethnic and tribal groups so that they focus mo move from him towards not relevant. Baba Sena went out of my way for country, where all of us get. This man and Ashawu, I don't know who go get shame pass. Ajay Bodani said, Unjustifiably, the entire electoral process was a sham. Every action has led to failure and the country is at the brink of ruin. Bring out the corn from your pocket with your full chest. Salako said, Yorubas, Edo's, Hausas have disagreed with this overbloated raccoon. But look at how targetedly he's sniping out a particular tribe. Ibophobia isn't a facade. It is a valid social misnomer installed by the political class to minimize an entire tribe. It is new sitting, sitting Liri. Dr. Kelechi said, once you align with APC, the only thing you are good for is ethnic baiting, tribal dog whistling like Doi Nokupe. Nothing else. You can't discuss economics, geopolitics, hate the issue for the common man. Nothing, just ethnic baiting to distract people from the hunger in the land. Dr. Allah Chief said, at your age, experience and pridefulness, one would have thought you would prefer the give and take of an argument to the blunt force of a tribal good girl. The vicious trope of Igbo bad was filthy old. Your new lord and savior was it. Got it. Dare said he has joined the bandwagon. As old as you are, you are joining riffraffs to play tribal games. Political prostitute. The Olua said, if not for Awolowo's free education, most of your elders will be on the farm without a future. Awolowo left a legacy. Can you ask this ungrateful, less intuitive, despicable, degenerous old man? What legacy they have lived when they are gone? They will live when they are gone. Tribal cats, blind old men without vision. Now, there are so many, so many comments, but let me just take this few for the sake of time. All right, welcome back, guys. I guess you saw it. Now, no be only obedient to from different angles. People are giving it to him left, right, back, and center. So, if anything, everything must just be evils in this country. Everything. Many Yorubas were among those attacking you because. Truly, you are a man without character. Now, anywhere belief face you be, that is who you are. And people came out to attack you. But now, you have, you know, carved out a certain ethnic group. Because you want to put it in such a way that the Yorubas that are not Omola bees now, the ones that cannot reason for themselves, will now say, oh yes, share we told you, these Igbo people, and start attacking Igbos. That is what you just want to do. Set 
a ground for attack on Ibus. That is what you just did. And well meaning Yorubas, those who understand what is true, are coming out to give it to you. Left, right, back, and center. Allow Ibus to rest. Ibus are not your problem. Obi never begged you for support, and Obi never told you that it is Southeast tongue. For one day, Obi didn't say it is the tongue of Southeast. Instead, he said, Don't vote me because I'm Igbo. Don't vote me because I'm from the Southeast. Vote me because I have character, I have competence, and I have capacity, and I can deliver. That was what he said. So don't come here and make it about Igbo and this thing, and another Southerner won. Do you want them? Then you went as low. As reposting hit 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 against Ibos, where they call them children of baby factory. It's a pity and a shame that all these old men are unraveling themselves. These are the people who put this country in trouble, and yet they still have mouths to talk. Let me stop here so that I don't end up insulting anybody. Thanks for watching and God bless you.